my father was on the first board of St. Jude, uh, um, and Danny Thomas came to St. Louis, I guess, right around the year I was born, which was uh, 1957. He met my dad, and as the story goes, he, he had a napkin that he was drawing on and saying, I'm going to build this hospital, and I need some help, and you know, he went around to... Lebanese and Syrian folks all around the country and asking him to help. I'm told my father came home and told my mom um, at that time that he was going to get involved in this charity with Danny Thomas and help build a hospital. And at that time, I must tell you that we had no money. I mean, we had, uh, you know, my parents had four children and we had a two bedroom home and, you know, Many of us were sleeping in the attic, and it was really tiny. And my mom, I'm told, said, you're not doing that. You can't do that. I mean, you can't you know, take away time from your jobs. He had three jobs at the time, and how are you going to do this? And we don't have any money, and, and he did it. He got involved, and he served on, you know, the first board to, to build and, and fund the hospital. And he went around, and I remember as a little kid, collecting coins uh, at the Teenage March with my older brother and sisters, and knocking on doors and asking people for coins for St. Jude Hospital, for the kids of St. Jude. I was the youngest person ever elected to the board. I feel great about my involvement in St. Jude Children's Research Hospital through the years. It makes me feel that I'm doing something really good for people.